In this video, we talk about the step deviation method to find variance in standard deviation. This method works with the assume mean. So suppose you have classes and their respective frequencies. The first thing that we do is take the midpoints of the classes to represent them. That's our xi. Once we have that, let's assume our mean to be a. h is our class size. So yi is equal to xi minus a by h is the substitution that we'll do. We'll have another column for yi right next to xi. We'll subtract the assumed mean from all xi and then divide the difference by h. h is the class size, a is the assumed mean, yi becomes our new variable that we'll work with. So yi is xi minus a by h. This means if we rearrange this, we'll get xi as yi times h plus a or a plus h yi. All right. So if we have this, what do we have for mean? x bar or mean is equal to sigma fi xi by n sum of product of fi xi divided by total number of frequencies. If we replace xi by a plus h y i, let's see what we have. We have mean equals to sigma fi times a plus h y i divided by n. Now we can multiply the frequency with a and h y i and then take the summation of both of these terms. We have one by n summation fi a plus summation fi times h times y i. Now things that are constant for the data can be taken out of the summation sign. What are the things that are constant? A or assume mean will remain the same for all values of i equals to 1 to n. What else? H is our class size that remains constant. So that also comes out. So this becomes mean equals to 1 by n times a times sigma fi plus h times sigma fi times yi. All right. Now what's sigma fi? That's the sum of all the frequencies. And what's the sum of all frequencies? That's equal to n. So this becomes n times a. So this becomes mean equals to a times n by n plus h times sigma fi yi divided by n. So in the numerator, we have sigma fi yi. That's the sum of product of frequencies with their corresponding yi. And denominator has n, sum of all the frequencies. This means we are summing all the y's up and then dividing by total number of observations. This means we have the mean y bar here. So this is x bar equals to a plus h y bar. So now we have a relationship between x bar and y bar are our original mean and y bar. Now let's talk about the variance. Sigma x square is equal to one by n sigma fi xi minus mean square. That's the formula for variance. We take all the observations we subtract mean from them and then square it. And then we multiply the corresponding frequencies with the square. We sum all of this up and then divide by total number of observations. That's the n. So that's our variance. Now here xi is a plus h y i and x bar is a plus h y bar. So let's substitute both of them. We have sigma x square equals to one by n summation f i times for x i we have a plus h y i and for x bar we have a plus h y bar. So with a negative sign, we have both of these with a negative sign. Now A and A cancel out. What do we have? We have H Y I minus H Y bar whole square. So this is Sigma X square equals to one by N summation F I times H square times Y I minus Y bar square. Again, things that are constant can be taken out of the summation sign. So we have H square that's constant that can be taken out. This is Sigma X square equals to H square by N summation f i times y i minus y bar square. Now if we take a close look at this, this is summation f i times y i minus y bar square divided by n. This is exactly the same as sigma x square. Instead of x i, we have y i. Instead of x bar, we have y bar. This means this is the variance of y. So variance for x is equal to h square times variance of the new variable that we have, that's y i. So this is how we calculate the variance using this method. We find the variance in terms of this new variable and then multiply that by h square. We can write this as sigma x square equals to h square times sigma y square. And if we take the square root, we have sigma x equals to h times sigma y. This means the standard deviation in x is equal to h times standard deviation in y. Now, if we write the formula for standard deviation, that's going to be equal to h by n root of n sigma fi yi squared minus sigma fi yi whole squared. 